It's been three years in the making, but Potsdam's new art space Museum Barberini has finally opened to great acclaim. German Chancellor Angela Merkel attended the opening ceremony, as did Bill Gates. But what's all the fuss about? We sent Miranda Atty to find out. Potsdam is less than an hour from Berlin's city centre. But architecturally, at least, it's very different. The town boasts plenty of Baroque architecture and royal palaces, and its newest museum is no exception. Museum Barberini opened as an art gallery in January. This building we are in now is a reconstruction of a historic building which was built um, in 1771-1772 under Frederick the Great as inspired by the famous um, Barberini Palace in Rome. The um, Barberini Palace for many years built it like the city centre of Potsdam but then in the Second World War it was destroyed and, and the buildings weren't replaced. They lay in ruins until 2013, but construction then began, transforming the site into a palatial residence for art. Its opening exhibition is Impressionism, the art of landscape. It's quite a collection, with 41 Monets, including his famous water lily series, Renoirs and Sisley's. And since the museum's opened, visitors have been flocking. At the moment we've got like 2,000 visitors a day during weekdays and that's more or less um, what, the, what the house can, can, can get. The Museum Barberini is a blend of the traditional and the modern in more than just its art. The, 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 the facade, the sandstone facade and the shape of the building is all given by the historic uh, building. But in the interior, the architect Thomas Albert Albrecht was free to create a modern um, museum architecture and you can see it like um, a really classic gallery room but um, a perfect frame for the art in it with wooden floors and we almost don't have white uh, walls but colours um, which fit with the paintings hanging there and um, it's, I think it's a really welcoming place uh, for the art and the visitors. Potsdam's Museum Barberini is the creation of Hasso Plattner. He's a software magnet and according to Forbes, he has an estimated fortune of $9.8 billion. Plattner's personal art collection boasts everything from old masters to Kandinsky's. It's his private collection that forms the core of the current show, although some of the pieces have been lent by museums and private investors. It's Plattner's choices that will influence the exhibitions Barberini holds next. From Hopper to Rothko will open later this year. And with works ranging from Edvard Munch, Emil Nolde and Gustav Kaibot in Plattner's arsenal, it's fair to say there'll be plenty more to see at the Museum Barberini in the years to come. Miranda Atti, TRT World, Potsdam. <laughs>